everyone. Welcome to At Home with Daisy and Oliver. My name is Michelle, and today I'm going to show you how I make my Valentine's basket. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and also hit that bell for my notifications. In making my bag today, I'm going to use a travel bag for my friend. I think she would like this. This is actually a travel bag I designed. I love leopard print, as you can tell. Uh, it's just a travel cosmetic bag. It hangs for all of your cosmetics and toiletries. So I'm going to add this to the back of the bag and I'm going to build around it. The next item I'm going to use is a candle. I've added a little ribbon to make it just a little personal touch. And I like nice smelling candles. I hate the cheap smelling candles. But this is a vanilla and amber candle. Uh, candle. I bought this at uh, Hobby Lobby yesterday. It was 50% off, so I got it for $10. All right, so I'll add that there. I'm also going to add a little dish towel, add a little softness to the basket. So I'm gonna place that here. And I love to always add candy into my baskets. This is just a little jelly jar and I've added some suckers to it and I like the little red and white follows my Valentine theme I have here. I'm gonna place that over in the corner. I found this little cup yesterday at the thrift store for 99 cents and I'm just going to add some little wooden spoons. This saucer also doesn't go with it but it matches. I bought this at Hobby Lobby yesterday yeah, I believe this was a dollar as well. And these spoons were, I believe, six dollars, but I bought six spoons. So I'm gonna add that right here. And then I'm gonna add some filler. I love these little beads. I made these as well, uh, which is some white paint and just placed on the jute strings. So I'm gonna add that right there in the front, just like that. A little wooden heart. I'll put it on this side to balance out my red and white gingham here. And then I'm going to add a personal touch. I always like to add an initial of my friend's last names. Um, you can find these usually at Walmarts and craft stores. They're very inexpensive, but it just adds a nice personal touch to your basket. So I'll place that there. And who doesn't like a nice bar of chocolate? I'll place that there. I'm gonna place these little, uh, little cutouts. As you can see behind me, I have a little swag behind me I made this morning, just glued them onto the jute rope behind me. But I like to add these just as a little filler. And one there, and one there. And I always like to add flowers to my baskets as a nice little filler, so I will tuck that right there. And I always like to make my own little bows for my baskets. Um, yesterday I went to Hobby Lobby again, and I just kind of refurbished my ribbon selection. I just cut the little strips of ribbon and I tie a little jute around it. I always add a little leopard. That's kind of like my signature bow, a little leopard within my bow here. But you can add that to your cup or you could add it over here on the side or whatever you think you might like it. All right, and that's my basket. I hope you like it. 